Good morning, boys and girls. This is Sir Click greeting you back into the Minecraft Taiga. Today we'll um, have a little bit of an adventure in the depths of this earth, going below the Taiga or below the surface of the Taiga, and potentially encountering a lot of dangerous things. Uh, to enable better survival, probability let's uh, put on our armor I actually managed to get uh, some extra iron in the process of preparing for this episode so now we are fully equipped ready to go I've actually almost prepared myself but before we really uh, dig in let's uh, let's do a quick community update as usual uh, and uh, then we will uh, be really fast into diving or descending actually beneath beneath the ground shut up let's just go let's just go and first community update is a visit to the temple of subscriptions I uh, just uh, wanted to give you a quick update we have mr. German man a new subscriber to the channel welcome sir thank you for subscribing do check mr. German man he's not German although his name suggests so well probably he is doesn't sound so from his voice has a funny uh, and interesting let's play series mr. GT beats welcome to the channel sir uh, he is actually or should I say mister he's a member of the Terrascape server and has recently subscribed thank you and welcome We've spoken about Mr. Krillik, another new subscriber. As of today is Mr. Bloat, Blout, Bloat. Apologies if I'm massacring your name. I've noticed a lot of people having trouble at doing uh, that pronunciation thing. So most probably I'll be part of the uh, mainstream, for which I apologize. Welcome to the channel and thanks for subscribing. Uh, two more gentlemen. Uh, that are currently, as you can see, I have little gaps here because it's simply not possible to place signs here. Didn't count on this, but there you go. Mr. Zexuan Kwok is um, a new subscriber to the channel. Thank you. Uh, obviously, I checked, uh, checked him out. He doesn't really have uh, any uh, uploads to his channel, but seems to be a, um, uh, a follower to the Terrorscape server. Welcome, sir. Hope you have some uploads soon. And last but not least, Mr. Gamer Grane. Mr. Gamer Grane has uh, subscribed to the channel unexpectedly yesterday. And he has uh, left a couple of uh, interesting and positive comments. Next update coming in a second. And here we go, Mr. McCrafter. Mr. A little bit of a repetition here. Mr. Mercrafter, Mr. has a sheep in this world. This is his sheep. And by the way, Mr. Mercrafter, Mr. is, um, or his sheep actually, is the uh, donor for this carpet here. So Mr. Mercrafter, Mr. has double, um, or his sheep has double purpose here. It's to commemorate Mr. Mercrafter, Mr.'s nice comment he has left on episode six I believe it was he told us that we should believe in ourselves and should move on in making the let's plays so this is exactly what we're gonna do very nice very straightforward and frank comment thank you sir enjoy the sheep next update is right over here we have now officially dedicated Mr. Budgelite or we have dedicated that room to Mr. Budgelite the reason is that Mr. Bratchelet gave us um, interesting and um, actually useful suggestion on how to get rid of these shadows. I haven't had the chance to do that yet, but I will eventually. Mr. Bratchelet, don't worry. For now, you have your marsh room. Get it? Oop, oop. Wrong exit. Wrong exit. And last update before we move on is what you have already noticed is the house I've expanded the house made it longer and wider 
and finally you have chosen to keep the uh, railing here I don't know if you call that railing or the oh oops I'm gonna cut this out actually if you wonder what I'm saying I'm gonna cut out this is my derp singing attempts yeah I'm really liking it uh, I must say that um, Yeah, somehow it's much better than the one before. I added some chests, a couple more furnaces, and a plant to make it a little bit more hospitable. I think the carpet does a lot as well. And that, guys, is everything in terms of updates. We are now ready to descend. Wish us luck because it's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. What I've done in preparation for 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 this descent i've done a little um a little base camp here if you remember i found this place i think it was in the episode two and there were some crazy creepers here and stuff nobody exploded i didn't have to fight anybody i just kind of blocked there's a i think over here there's something which i blocked off then i cleaned up a little bit this room Added a chest, nothing much here, and a crafting bench. And what we're going to do now, oh, what we're going to do now, is we're going to go right ahead and attempt to conquer this, which is luck. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, have some tactical advantage here. We don't want to have too many. Uh -huh. Too many open. Uh, places from where they can attack us. You can already see some iron. Tons of uh, cobwebs. Spider webs. Do I see anybody there? No, I don't. What's in this chest? Aha! Food, coal, and pumpkin seeds. Happy Happy Halloween, as, as they say. Hmm, time to eat, by the way. It's talking about pumpkins. Caving makes me hungry. Probably should have eaten more, but... Uh, unless I see something extremely interesting in terms of um, materials, guys, I will probably skip digging around. I'll probably more try to explore and light up the caves more than anything. By the way, let us just do a little trick here. Some of you may consider this cheating, but I prefer to do this because otherwise we may get seriously lost just to have our coordinates here snapshot snapshot it snapped snap it snap it snap and on we go oh let's be careful here and here and here uh-huh by the way, why are we doing this? And I'm a little scared here, to be quite honest. I'm not gonna lie. Can we can we somehow block this guy off? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this doesn't prevent me from dying, but at least kind of gives me a little bit of tactical advantage, just a little bit. Do you have a skeleton down there? Oh, what was that? All those new sounds. I actually don't know what's expecting me over there. Let's take it one by one. So I, this is where I came from. Mm-hmm. Chest. Yeah, while I'm doing this, I wanted to tell you that I have prepared a wall of uh, wall of goals, so the wall of directions, which is out there. And I'll show you in the end of the episode. And I want to put some goals there, and of course I'll be asking you guys to help me compile those. 
And this will be the goals that uh, we'll have to achieve here in this series to make uh, things a little bit more interesting, I guess, and a little bit more directional. Mm -hmm. Ooh, gold. More coal, melon seeds, more melon seeds. Not too shabby, not too shabby. And why I'm saying this, why I'm mentioning the goal, the wall of goal, or the wall of direction, as I like to call it, is because one of the goals is actually conquering this abandoned mine shaft. Not exactly sure what conquering it means, but probably as a minimum. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, dudes. We have a jackpot. Well, we have a ravine. Uh, or something that looks like a ravine. I'm a little scared to expose myself. Anyways. Oh, that is a ravine. Oh yeah, baby. This is a ravine. And a most probably very dangerous one too. So... Gotta be careful. Uh, so the goal, but the goal is really to conquer the. And I'm starting to get lost here. The um, abandoned mine shaft, not the ravine. And let's see how well we do in this one, because clearly, it's not a simple matter. But I don't think it's um, impossible. So we will attempt it. It's an interesting goal. It will um, also bring us a lot of riches, hopefully. I do have a couple of other goals in mind, and I'll be sharing them with you soon. Um, probably by the end of this episode. Uh, where we will actually visit the wall. I'll show you where it is. And you can... Um, you can uh, look at the goals together with me. By the way, just... Uh, ooh, oh, this is what I was looking for, guys. You see, this is a bat. Actually, I wasn't looking for it. But I was really curious to see how it looks. It's really damn cute. I know. I know. It's not a guy word. It's not a guy word. Guys don't say cute. But guys, it's cute. I'm sorry. Uh... Um, yeah, it got me distracted a little bit. Actually, the reason why we're here, and not in the ravine of goodness, because you do remember we had a, another ravine, which was nearby our house, is because I actually went ahead and checked it out very briefly, and it turned out it's rather limited ravine. In the sense that, really, it didn't lead anywhere and it didn't have anything interesting in it. And I must tell you, just to get a better understanding of how dull and boring it was, that actually took me around about two minutes to understand that. Uh, because I really just went in, saw there's nothing, and went out. Simple as that. So, I um, mean, that was, I mean, so, um, eventually that was the intention, or the intention was to have that as, as one of the goals, but didn't work out, would be too much of an easy goal, not, uh, not really worth exploring. Now, this is the perfect way to get lost, and it's clearly getting out of the... Mm -hmm. We have even some lava here. It's just how we like it. Dangerous and fiery. Mm -hmm. This is very dangerous. Let's see if we can uh, somehow get down without dying. That would be really cool. Very nice. Let's get back our stuff. It's full of lava. This pool is full of lava. 
you don't say, oh, be careful. I don't have any water, so if I die here, everything dies with me. Which is ultimately something that we don't want to live through. Maybe a little bit of wish wishful thinking, but I do hope to find some um, some diamond here. Mm. Let's see if that's possible. Let's get rid of this. Hmm. So you may say that actually I'm a little bit. Nope. I'm kind of uh, going ahead of myself or coming ahead of myself by coming in here without showing you the wall of goals or the wall of direction. But I thought it's just maybe a little bit more interesting than uh, showing you the wall. The wall will be shown anyways. You will see it. Don't worry. And I'm giving up. I'm not going to risk my life here for nothing. Because there is nothing here. And that is too dark. Too damn dark. Minecraft. Minecraft likes to kind of place me in dark places. Place me in dark places. Position me in dark places and see how I react to it. Oh, man. Man. Let's stick to the mine shaft because really the mine shaft is what we came for. Hmm. Hello, buddy. Who is here? Hello? Mr. Skeleton? Is that you? I bet that's you. I bet that's you. I think I'm already lost. Or maybe not. I mean, this is this is the mine shaft, okay? I see torches here, so maybe this is somehow somehow I came from here. And somehow I came from here. Yep. Oh. Did I really come from here? I must have I must have forgotten the the iron Ah, here we go. <laughs> ha ha. Well, I'm kind of going towards the end of my time commitment, so I'm a little worried in terms of the time. And maybe, just maybe, just for good measure, it's time for us to go upstairs and actually... Uh, yeah, show you the wall of direction. Is it night? Do we have creepers jumping around us? Actually, it's morning, so... Hmm. Nobody around us. Do we have any signs left? Hmm, we do. Very nice. Very nice. Sir Click is happy. By the way, speaking of goals, uh, as you know, I joined the Terrascape server. Haven't had the chance to be too much on it. But I did uh, come online a couple times, and I do intend to continue coming up online and eventually uh, posting a little less play on there. Still to come, just uh, letting you know. And. Um, uh, just watch out for it and um, should be coming relatively soon. So here we go. First goal is Kong. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Conquer the abandoned mineshaft. Hmm. Hmm. Just a second. Okay. That's correct. Is the correct um 
the correct spelling. I'm, I'm paranoid. Uh, explore. Ah, come on. Is it Taiga? There you go. Bit broad. Uh, it needs a little bit of explanation. Really, what what I mean by explore Taiga, and sorry for this, I'll, I'll replace the sign. Uh, what I mean by this really is um, that I want I want really to go around the borders of the taiga and define where it starts and where it ends. How much I will explore in the middle of the taiga is another question. But perhaps the next goal will explain a little more, and which is build a oh, okay build a castle, a, a snow castle, snow castle, castle in the heart of the taiga. Ah, you must be kidding me. My typing skill, guys, today is zero. I want to build a snow castle in the heart of the taiga, and that means that I have to somehow find the heart of the taiga. So I must venture into the middle of the taiga, but I'm not sure, not really sure how we'll, we'll go about our work for now. Build a redstone gadget. Any redstone gadget really will do because I have no idea how to do anything with redstone. So any redstone gadget will be a good one. Obviously, I will not be cheating, so it won't be something super simple, but it won't be some something super um, complex either. Last but not least is build an enchanting. Hmm. Chanting room with library with a library, and the reason I'm saying with the library is I know just uh, a simple row of books is enough, but I want to have a nice library in the snow castle in the heart of Taiga with an enchanting room plus the enchanting room and the library imply I have to do something with cows which probably will require sub goals such as build farm etc etc so all in all interesting goals and you guys you know if you have anything in mind that may be interesting to add on to this wall do leave a comment and I will be happy to add it to the wall of goals or the wall of directions as I like to call it because eventually um, that makes the game a little more interesting. And with that, I think pretty much the end has come. I'm afraid. I really am afraid that the end has come, but every end eventually comes. And guys, I thank you for watching once more, leave a comment, like if you liked the video, subscriptions are welcome, subscribe if you really like it, uh, if you don't like it then you don't have to subscribe. Have an absolutely fantastic evening and I'll see you next time. Thank you and bye bye.